Good day to all the audience. Welcome to the evening forum of today. I would like to welcome our panelists for this topic on online classes versus face-to-face -face classes. This is an important topic that is affecting all of us today. So we are honored to create these panels to share some of our experience in this matter. First of all, let me introduce to you our panelists, Ms. Louis Singye, Ms. Tan Pei Ms. Chu Zing, and Ms. Tam Candy. Let's not waste our time. Ms. Louis Singye, can you share some of your opinion on online classes? Thank you, Amanda. Good morning to everyone. Uh, as online learning has become a popular option for the learning purposes, I do feel like the online learning has a better advantage compared to the face-to-face -face learning. Why I'm saying that because the first one is it is cost effective. It can save a lot of the transportation and also housing costs for the students as students no need to um, attend the class physically anymore. Other than that, it also provides a cheaper learning material cost. For example, um, the expenses spent on the stationary, textbook and also printing expenses. Instead, online learning can replace all these expenses by using the um, online tutorial or also ebooks. Uh, for school authority, it also saves the cost for the maintenance for the infrastructures and also their service provide for students such as the transportation costs and also accommodation costs. I appreciate your points, Nian, but in my opinion, I believe that face-to-face -face class can ease the burden of poor students. Why do I say that? Well, not everyone has the money to buy a laptop and un unlimited mobile data plan just to support the online class. Some poor families, they might need struggle hard to save up the money to buy a laptop and the unlimited mobile data plan for their children. Because of online classes being practiced, they have to bear this burden. And from my experience, I noticed that using electrical gadgets at home to study online will consume a lot of electricity, which will raise the electric bill as well. I hope this makes some sense. Oh yes, talking about cost, fees, money. How about students who spend extra money on tuition classes? We all understand that lecturers only have a certain amount of time to get through subjects. Students that have problem keeping up with the rest of the class will need to arrange for tuition classes. And I'm pretty sure nowadays tuition classes are quite expensive. Ms. Peichi, would you mind sharing some of your ways to solve this problem? Thanks for asking, Amanda. To answer your question, I just can say that tuition is not necessary to solve this issue. Students that cannot afford to attend tuition class can ask for help from their friends who have attended tuition class. They can ask their friends for the tuition notes and do group studying with them and discuss the questions they don't understand. I believe that self-studying and being proactive to ask the teachers will be the best solution for these issues. Tuition classes actually it will make the students become only dependent on external classes and make them not to appreciate their school classes. I hope this makes some sense to you. I do agree with Peti's point about tuition classes are not necessary for every student. However, let's remember that not all teachers are willing to stay back because it actually isn't their ob obligation to stay back after school hours to teach students about what they don't understand. And about having group studies with our friends, what if they are not free because they have their personal matters to attend to? And I think having online classes actually benefits students because students can be can be paying full attention to the live lectures or classes because they knew the lectures or classes are being recorded so that they will not rush to jot down notes or fear of missing out important points. With the presence of recordings, students can assess the recordings multiple times to make notes in their own pace without rushing so that they will absorb new information better and have a better understanding about what they are learning. I do agree with Ms. Zing. Online learning do provide many flexibility to students. I also think that this online learning can provide flexible flexibility in time for the student to um, learn better. For example, they can alert, arrange their timetable based on their um, daily life. They also can achieve 
effective learning if there are students who are can who can learn better during the night time compared to the daytime. So with online learning, there's no need to stick to the timetable as in the face-to-face -face learning so that they can learn whenever they want and can absorb the knowledge more effectively. Besides that, for students which has the busy schedule and limited free time, this online learning can provide the flexibility for them to have the total control over time. So they can always revert back to the um, course module or the online tutorial so that in make, online learning actually makes it possible for everyone to learn at their own convenience and capacity. I do not agree with Ms. Sing Yen as you said that online learning, the students will have flexible schedule. What if the students use the flexible schedule to work part-time? In my opinion, I think that students have the responsibility to uh, pay full attention during physical class. So I would prefer face-to-face -face learning as it can train our discipline as we as students are required to go to class and participate. And disciplines such as being punctual to the class can be also trained when the school or university conduct face-to-face -face learning. On the other side, why I say that discipline cannot be gained through online learning, it is because many people will be ending up subconsciously multitasking because they are doing something else while doing the course and this will affect what they really gain from the e-learning. I do not agree with Candy's point about online classes not being able to train the discipline of students. In fact, online classes can actually develop discipline, other important skills other than discipline of students. When having face-to-face -face classes, students are often waken up by their parents so that the parents can drop by the students at their respective schools or universities before going to work. However, Having online classes at home means that students will require themselves to wake up on time on their own so that they can attend their classes without depending on their parents. And in this way, it actually trains the independent skill of the students. Next, discipline and time management skills are required so that students can finish the tasks or assignments within the time frame given. Hence, I do think that online classes is actually a great opportunity to develop various useful skills that are important for their future, such as discipline, time management skills, and independence. Very interesting to hear, right? Speaking of discipline, I believe that some students will take the teacher's effort for granted in online class, as they have many excuses to not attend the online class on time, such as poor internet connection, social kit, or laptop breakdown, and more. The teachers work hard to learn on how to use the modern technology, modern software, just want to provide the best to their students. But end up, nobody is going to appreciate their effort as the lessons will be recorded anyway. This is very disappointing to the teachers as if they are talking to the air. Yeah, I do agree with Peachy's point. Some students will take advantage on online classes. They might be busy with their own business behind the camera and not paying attention to the class. These are all related to, to discipline. How about students with personal issues could not attend the class? Classes will not repeat or replace. Students will need to arrange extra time to catch up what they have missed. As for online classes, absentees are able to watch the recorded classes, which is much convenient for them. Miss Candy, can you share some better ways to solve this solve such problem during face-to-face -face class? Thank you, Miss Amanda, for asking. And from my point of view, the class can indeed be recorded so that the absentees can listen back to the recordings to learn. However, the students are still considered absent, where it is the same as they were absent from face-to-face -face class. They should have given logical reasons for not attending to the class. For a face-to-face -face class, the absentees should have the discipline to learn back what they missed during the lecture and take the initiative to meet with their lecturers for consultation. Whereas during online learning, the students may easily skip the class and take the time to sleep during the lecture. And this is very unfair for the students who work so hard to learn although they are absent from the lecture. I think that it is reasonable as we should pay full attention during the lecture so we really cannot 
depend on the recording itself to revise again. The lecturers were trying to train our discipline and focusing in class. So if we as students still cannot understand any of those topics, we can still reach out to the lecturers and ask questions. The lecturers will always welcome us in their office for consultation. Thank you for your answer, Ms. Candy. I have one question for you, Ms. Yen. I remember you mentioned that online learning will save a lot of money. How about if there are students facing internet connection problem and need to find some place with good internet connection or get a more expensive but better mobile data? Do you have any better suggestion on this issue? Thank you, Amanda, for your questions. For our question, I see two problems. The first one is the poor internet connection problem, and the second one is the financial problem. For the poor internet connection problem, I would suggest the students to upgrade their data plan. They should go seek for the internet service provider at their area based on the coverage of the Wi-Fi and the geographic availability and also the speed of the Wi-Fi. If their area still cannot get any internet signal at all, they should go travel to the place which has reliable and stable Wi-Fi. And other than that, I can I want to suggest that students can use um, applications which use the lower usage of internet limits, such as the Discord for the online meeting. For the financial problem, I do think that students can go to purchase internet package which is um, has a lower price. For example, the, um, the many telecom are providing free or, or, or low price internet package for students. Other than that, they should go, they can go the public area for the free Wi-Fi, for example, public library and also community center. If they still have the difficulty in the financial, they should seek for help from the school authority or the government for more financial aids, for example, PTPTN and also I hope my suggestion helped. Yeah, I agree. Uh, government or the school do play an important role in this matter. And I do understand that online classes brings a lot of convenience to lots of people's life. But I read, I read some articles and it says that online classes can also cause health issues to students. Students need to spend more time sitting in front of their digital gadget, not just to attend a few hour classes, but also completing their assignments. This behavior can lead to a wide range of health risks. Ms. Zing, would you mind sharing some of your thoughts in this issue? I do agree that having online classes means that students will require a long time sitting in front of their digital gadgets. But let's not forget that online, I mean face-to-face -face classes, will also require students to sit down in their classroom for a prolonged period of time. For online classes, students are having classes at their own houses. Students are not required to travel from their house to their school, which sometimes may take a long time for those that live far away from their schools. Students can use the safe time for exercising, which are beneficial to both mentally and physically. For face-to-face -face classes, students can also go back after school go back to home after school and be addicted to digital gadgets, whether it's for social on social media or for online games. And I do think that it actually goes back to students themselves, whether they want to lead a healthy lifestyle or continue these unhealthy habits, which will give rise to health problems and diseases. At the end, it is definitely one's responsibility to take care of one's own body. I do not agree with Ms. Zing as she is not sure about online learning will have an impact on the health of the students. So I would be more prefer to face-to-face -to -face learning. It is because the mentors can make sure that the students are physically interacting in the class. Talking about skills, why carry out practical work using an online platform when we can have hands-on face-to-face to gain a better perspective on the work? Through online learning, we can't really understand how the instrument works if we are having laboratory work online. 
sorry, due to the time constraint, allow me to conclude this forum by sharing my point of view. In my opinion as student, I do agree with Miss Candy and Miss Peachy's point about having practical section is impractical. Uh, online is impractical for medical students like us, but online classes are more convenient for me because I can have my class in a better environment and do realize that online classes trains me in managing my time, not just for study, but have some time to relax and chill. Finally, we come to the end of the forum. I would like to say thanks to all panelists for this interesting forum. Hopefully, this will be beneficial for everyone. Thank you for your attention.